Hi everyone, David A. Cox here, host of Tech Talk America, a uh, podcast on iTunes, as well as the founder of Tech Talk Academy. We uh, created the world's first completely free virtual classroom where anyone in the world can learn how to better use their own computer. If you want to find out the details about it, you can visit our website, which is techtalkamerica.com. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a really fantastic company, fantastic software that I discovered about a year ago called Snap Pages. They're a very small organization, but they're a fantastic example of a company that gets it right when it comes to web design software that is consumer friendly. And uh, so this is it, uh, snappages.com. Uh, they have a free version, which I do not recommend just because the pro version is so much better. Um, here's the cost you're looking at with a website. And I truly do mean that anyone can build a website using the software. Uh, if you don't already own your domain name, uh, it's $20 for a year, and for hosting, as well as the access to their software, is $8 a month. Now, depending on when you happen to see this video, we do have a promo code running with Snap Pages. Uh, you can check it out. It's uh, Tech Talk 30 is the promo code. You can enter it in uh, if you decide to purchase the software. But if you're not sure, you can always do a 14-day trial and see if you like it. So what better way for me to show you uh, what Snap Pages is about than to show you how I use it. Now, I have managed, uh, I have helped build about 12 different websites, uh, and I'm going to show you one of my businesses. This is my local uh, Apple Computers uh, deal. The We're an unauthorized Apple dealer, and better for it. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like when you log in. So you have web pages, themes, blog, photos, calendars, friends. This part's kind of silly. I think they should just do away with this. Domain names and files. And these are kind of your apps here, right? Okay. This is your uh, your dashboard, if you will. So when you first build a, when you first sign up for Snap Pages, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a theme. And the theme is just kind of what, di what dictates the overall look to your website. Now I'm going to show you, these are all the different themes that you can choose from. Now, even from this, you can still manipulate them to make it look completely different. Um, I have one website that I just built today. Um, I actually built the whole website in 15 minutes. Um, and I used this theme here, and I changed the background. I didn't like the, the you know, kind of the red wine background, and I changed it to kind of a, a light gray, and it looks phenomenal. So even within these templates, you can still really tweak it and manipulate it to look the way you want it to. So for the, uh, the page you're about to see of mine, I use this theme right here. It's the third one uh, on the top. And uh, it's really clean, it's really basic, and that's what I liked about it. So when you select your theme, this is kind of what you're going to see. Let's open it up. Okay, so it's kind of saying this is what the general look to your website is going to be. So up here, you have what's called the header. And this is where you would have presumably your logo. Uh, if you have a phone number or a location, some people put, you know, located in so-and-so. You'd put that up there. This is the kind of thing that's going to stay on every single page. It's going to be there. You can dictate uh, what fonts end up being used. Uh, you can say, what color do you want the buttons to be? And all of your controls are down here at the bottom. So for example, if I don't like this kind of background, I can click on background and just change the color. I do like white, so I'm gonna keep it there. For elements, uh, you can say for buttons, what, what do you want your buttons to look like here? So you can say, right now it's selected to be gradient, rounded, and gray. If I want to change it up and I want to make it like a like a pale yellow, I can just with one click, every button on my site will immediately change to look like that. I do not like that, so I'm just going to hit not save anyway, so I won't even bother with it. Uh, fonts, so if you, you can see here, there's a total of three different fonts. There's the main text, headings, and the subheadings. And so you can dictate uh, what fonts they use. They give you a good amount of uh, options here. Uh, header is uh, what we just mentioned. Uh, you can add, they have different graphics that you can use if you'd like, or you can import your own. Uh, you can import your own logo, rather. Styles, so this is where, like, if you look here at the, um, look here at the bar, okay? With one click, I can totally change the entire look of my site. So now it's all kind of broken up like that. But I don't really like that. I like, I like very clean for this kind of a site. So I'm going to put it back to uh, the way it is there. So I'm going to hit cancel now because I don't want to save it. And that's what you kind of start off with. Now from there, what you're typically going to do is you're going to go into web pages. Okay. And just to review where that is, it's right here. Okay. It's the first button. 
So when you first go in for the first time, uh, they already have a few pages set up for you. You can choose whether or not you keep them or not. Um, sorry, go back there. And uh, if you want, you can edit them, you can delete them, you can add new ones, however you want. And basically, these are broken down into three different categories. Uh, pages that show up in the navigation window. So that little bar at the top, these all show up there. There's online. These are pages that are available, but they may, they're not listed actually in the navigation bar. You'd have to have either a button that would link to it or something like that. And then there's drafts. So this is something that you're kind of thinking of working on, but you don't want the world to see it. To edit one of your pages, it's as easy as clicking on the page and look down here at the bottom, edit page. One of the things I love about Snap Pages is that they took the same psychology that Apple took uh, in their approach to creating really simple software, which is this concept of drag and drop which states that if I have content in one location and I want it to be in another location, I should be able to just drag and drop it there. This is how, this is how they took that approach. If you look here on the left-hand side, I have all my different little tools right here. So under text, I have text, heading, text with image. Under media, I can do just an image. Video, which will play from, uh, this would be connecting to something like Vimeo or YouTube. Slideshow, a photo album link. I can create a 3D photo gallery, an image grid. Under elements, I can create a button, a divider line if I want to separate like two different parts of text, for example. File download, if I want my, let's say I'm building a restaurant website and uh, I want people to be able to download the menu, you could do it as a file download. Under widgets, I can have a contact form, which you can actually see right here. See, it says email us, so without people having to click on a button that says emails and it opens their email application without ever leaving the website. They can fill out this little form and shoot me an email. What's nice is that it protects my identity. They don't see the email address and uh, it's a simple way for them to contact me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, other things you can do, you can have a calendar which even by Snap Pages own admission uh, leaves a lot to be desired but if you're doing really basic calendar work, it's fine. If not, you can always use Google Calendars which is free as well. Uh, latest blog posts, you can use this to uh, just kind of create a little pop-up of your blog with just the last posting. iFrame is sort of like a little window into another website. So if you want another website to connect to your own, you can do that. Codebox, so for those of you code nuts out there who decide you want to integrate HTML or JavaScript, yes, you can play friendly with this too. If you check out some of our other websites um, where we've used Google Checkout, this is how we did it. We just took the Google Checkout code, put it into a code box, and put it into the site. And finally, plugins. Plugins, plugins, plugins. You can connect to everything from Facebook to Twitter to over 20 different social networks. And you can put those little social icons at the top of your website so that people with one button can like you or friend you or whatever you like. Um, and you can even do PayPal integration if PayPal wasn't the devil. Check out Google Checkout. They're much better. So let's say I want to add an image to my website. Here's how easy it is. So I go here under Media, and I take Image. And with my mouse, I click, drag, and drop it right into my site. Now when I do that, it says, okay, where do you want your image to come from? The two options are my online library. These are, photo, these are photos I've already uploaded. They might be on another page or I might have just separately uploaded them. But what most of you are going to do is my computer. So this is the point where you tell your computer, okay, these are where my images are. And I'm just going to go to kind of a, uh, these are all dummy photos. None of them are me. So don't sue me. Click on the image, hit open, and boom, it is in my website. Getting this change to update is literally as easy as clicking save down here at the bottom right corner of the site, of the page rather. Now, even with my photo right there, I still have options to manipulate it. If you look here at the bottom left, I have options to resize, align it. I can add different effects to it, like if I want it to go black and white, or if I want to up the contrast or make it look like an old school photo. Uh, I can add frames to it, so if I want to have, give it rounded edges, well, just by clicking rounded, you'll see now it has rounded edges. Okay, really, really easy to use software. Um, let's say I want to create, when I'm done with this, I want to create a new page. I want to walk you through how to do it. There's, two, there's a few different ways you can do it. I'm not going to save these changes for obvious reasons. So when I want to create a new page, okay, 
The option is right down here at the bottom of the screen where it says New Page. You might notice we're on the web, uh, web page apps. When I create a new page, it's saying, do you want to use a basic page or do you want to link in a page? So this would be if you want to connect to another website. We're going to do a basic page, and we're just going to call this a temp page for temporary. I can do blank, or I can do a template page. If I decide to do blank, it has different column options. So you can have, if you look here, you can see you can have all in one. You can have two columns uh, with different alignments, a whole bunch of different page layouts. Okay, I want to go back to the other option, so give me one second here. Okay, do it back to new page, basic page, temp. All right, template page. This is what this looks like. So basically, they have these really nice layouts already made for you. They have one section for personal, one section for business, but honestly, these you're going to tweak this to work for you. So it doesn't don't pay attention to the fact that it says business or personal. It doesn't make a difference. So let's say I do personal homepage. So at this point, all I do is I replace all of their text with my text, which is as easy as clicking into it, hit edit, and then just delete their text and put in whatever I want. Okay? Their software is so easy to use. I really recommend you check it out. Um, and uh, you just play with it. That's the idea with this. It's not really stressful. You just play with it. That's all. If you ever have any questions, you can always send us an email. Uh, my direct email is I'm on a Mac at me.com. Hopefully you'll subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more tutorial videos coming out. And uh, as I said before, we have a online virtual classroom that we created where we teach four classes a week. Uh, it is a completely free service. There's no hidden charges of any kind. You can sign up by going to techtalkamerica.com. That's all, everyone. I hope you all have a uh, great day, and uh, be sure to check out our other videos. Take care.